and be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, today what we are gonna do is we are gonna unbox the brand new Ryobi Easy Clean 320 PSI power washer. And the reason why I bought this is because of this. So this is the main reason why I got the Ryobi Easy Clean. I just went out boating, I was out for a few hours. Now, when it comes to taking a boat out of water, you'll get this film along it and it'll be just, it'll turn ugly soon. So the best thing to do is to rinse it off right at the marina where you don't even have to wait for home. I'm, a, as you can see, I'm, I'm at the, the boat launch right now. So the water is in a bucket. So let's uh, rinse this off really quick. like that it's put away just like that it is put away perfect now this is not a powerful power washer by any means it's not meant to this is meant for extreme light duty stuff like simply power washing your car or having a portable power washer at your disposal because it doesn't use that much water so you're able to use this with a regular bucket and still get the task that you want done the model number for this is, it does not say the model number on the box that I cannot see, but this comes with a couple of uh, items along with the power washer itself. Now, like I said, this is only a 320 PSI uh, power washer, a uh, cordless power cleaner, if you will. It, it is not a power washer. It's an easy clean cordless power cleaner. So this is like for light duty stuff like washing your car, washing your boat or what whatnot, your ATV your trailer. So we're gonna unbox this to see what's inside, test this out and see how well this actually performs with only 320 PSI. Alrighty, so. All right, so th that is what the inside looks like. So here is, here is the nozzles. Those lock into place, I assume. There we go. Oh, there you go. There's, there's two arrows right here that indicate. There's two arrows right here that indicate on how they align up. So that's that. It comes with a hose. And a bobber. There's a bobber on the hose too, which is interesting. A little fishnet for your for the hose as well. So that this so this is the hose that you would put in a bucket, which I believe this is a 20-foot hose, which is good. Instructions, warranty, and a nozzle for a regular hose. We will be needing that. Put the rest of it in the instructions bag. So there you go, that is the nozzle for a regular hose, which is plastic. I think it is spring loaded, which is awesome. And the rest of it, I believe, is just spacing. And the unit itself. Oh, that's actually bigger than I thought it would be. That's awesome, that's good. Look at that. That's, a, that, that's beefy. That is, that is very, that's really beefy, which is good. You do, this, this unit you do not want small because it will be very weak if it was smaller. 
Don't need the tag. All right, that I believe that's big enough to fit it, uh, fit a nine amp hour battery in there. And that's my bad. It does go. It just easily goes back into place. Just if there's a little loop, just push it in, and it goes in just fine. All right, so we got a full battery here. Go. Yep, it is uh, designed to also fit a nine amp hour battery. There you go. There is uh, an unlock feature. So the model number for this is RY120. Uh, RY120350, 18 volt system. Uh, maximum PSI is 320 PSI. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. And yes, this container supposedly is water resistant. So uh, because of that, it has that uh, that ring in there. It is water resistant. To get this on, I believe you just twist this on, maybe. That is correct. Now, when it comes to the nozzle, you have rinse, turbo, and you have a 15 degrees. So rinse, turbo, and 15 degrees on one nozzle. So there you go. Let's see what the uh, let's see what this can do. All right. So to put this on, all you got to do is bring it down, and then now it's locked into place. All right. So this is water source with only a bucket. So let's see what this can do. That gets the water out. Let's twist this back on. Now there's water in the... That's turbo. There we go. 15 degrees is the, uh, the real pressure. Yeah, first impression so far, it might this might just be because of the bucket, uh, but it's actually pretty weak. Yeah, I think it's weak because of the bucket. There's, it's actually just being, uh, it's sucking the water out of the bucket, but I'm pretty sure if water is fed into it through a hose, it'll be a different story. So let's, uh, let's put the water hose on this. So now we have a hose connected to it. So let's see what this can do with the hose. It's a little bit more powerful. That's the 15 degrees. This is turbo. 15 degrees again. Yeah, 15 degrees is what you want if you uh, power wash your car. All right, so as you can see, that is the main reason why I bought this tool, because I'm gonna use this to completely rinse off my boat when I take it out of the water. You could also use this for watering plants, you know, here and there, if, you, if it doesn't require gallons upon gallons of water, because you could also connect it like a, like I said, you could also connect this to a hose. You could have a, use a five gallon bucket. Uh, I just need a three gallon bucket for my purpose, so no need for me to actually get a five gallon bucket to do the tasks. But yeah, but th this is its this has its own uses. But one thing this is not this is not a power washer. This will not replace your regular high psi power washer. This is a final rinsing tool, 
and that's what they designed this for. This is not, this will not replace your regular power washer. And so this is just a good portable watering system that you could bring wherever you want. Is this worth it to me? I say yes. I love this thing. This is going to come with me every time I uh, take the boat out just so I can do a quick little rinse, get all the dirt and grime off it from the river and the lakes. And this is also, uh, it's, it's multi-purpose. You, you don't have to use it for one specific thing. You could use it for a couple of things. But yes, uh, this, this, it, has its, it, uh, it, it has its own purpose. You know, like, it is not a power washer. Like, it, like they say here, it's an easy clean. It's a good, it's a perfect final rinsing tool that you could, you're able to use nine amp hour batteries with. And so, uh, so yeah, you could use a hose, you could use a, a, a bucket, you know, so you have multiple options for what you can do. It's not loud and uh, it's completely portable. Then that's the main reason why I bought it. It is portable. Yes, this is worth the buy, but just remember this will not replace your regular power washer. It's a final rinsing tool. It's a, it's good just to do a, a quick, quick little clean. You know, this is, this is going to have a tough time, uh, taking off leaves that are stuck to your car because the, the 320 PSI is, it's not that much. And especially if you use a bucket to, to do very little, if you're trying to do a concentrate of, uh, of a clean, you're going to run through water like crazy. And it, it's just not worth it with that. Then that's why you would use the hose. So this is perfect for a final rinsing tool. So once again, the model number for this is RY12350. And yes, 18 volt system. So yeah. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to demo this for you guys and show you what this is capable of doing. You know, uh, and so yeah, it's a portable system that you can take with you, which that's key. That's number one. So please like this video, please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in, I'll see you guys next time.